And my mom is super religious, very, very religious. Wow. So she's, yeah, she doesn't know yet. So it's a secret. She doesn't know yet. <laughs> no. She thinks I'm in college, like doing bottle service. She's so, she's so religious. I told her I was doing bottle service and she said, you're going to hell. <laughs> So we, I see her like once a year. I'm not as close with her as I am my dad. Yeah. Like, I just like open-minded, yeah. you know, people. So. <laughs> so did you grow up like in a religious house? It sounds like your oh, dad's yeah. not that religious. No, he had like a marijuana farm. That's why they got divorced. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, it's, they sound like very different people. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was meant to happen. They needed, but yeah, I grew up going to church and everything and going to like Bible school and mm-hmm. I, I was in a what is it called? Baptist school. Mm -hmm. So I was definitely the the rebel there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, um, what's your views on like spirituality and God now? Now it's really, mm, so I don't go to church myself. Like, I don't really Mm -hmm. think I need to do that, Mm -hmm. but I still believe in some kind of higher power. Like if I have to say, I believe in God, that's fine. I just believe in something's out there. You know, Mm -hmm. I don't think we just kind of magically, poofed on this earth Mm -hmm. (laughs) and all the planets so I don't know we'll see that's what uh, that's my worst fear death is my worst fear oh my god same I just had a long conversation with Corey Chase actually um who I interviewed before you and we had this long talk about death and she's like cool with it and I'm like terrified of it it's so scary I'm like am I gonna be burning for an eternity I'm like dad like if you go to heaven just throw me a ladder I'll come up (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what's gonna happen and then there's also like people who believe in um like reincarnation and things Mm -hmm. like that so it's like what am I gonna come back as so I treat everyone really nicely (laughs) you never know (laughs) so do you I mean do you believe in like one or the other or are you just kind of like any of these things could be true yeah I don't and I'm very like open to Mm -hmm. learning about other people's religion I Mm -hmm. just don't have like a specific one that I I would say I believe in I just believe something's out there and I believe in good karma (laughs) do you believe so do you believe in life after death I don't know I guess we'll find out I guess so (laughs) I'm scared I know I am too (laughs) but we'll see I'm just like I think if you just do like be nice on this yeah. earth and we'll see what happens next you know yeah all you can do is be a good person <laughs> I agree with you I think yeah. that all you can do is yeah I mean karma I think is and also too I think that you manifest like you manifest what you bring into your life yeah. just the energy that you put out there like exactly. brings you back oh, I believe in that this, so much a very similar energy and you know on like its most basic level you know if you're a positive person you attract positive people into your life because people like to be around that kind of energy and if you're negative then you tend to repel like positive people and that's what I like to surround myself with like if I notice someone's like a leech in a way they Mm kind of like drain you I don't want to be around those people like I'll work with them but that's not someone who I would go hang out with on my free time you know Mm -hmm. so it's good to be aware of people and what kind of energy they give you Yeah. yeah are you good at setting boundaries I am actually. Yeah. I'm a, I'm not scared to say no to plans or going mm-hmm. out and partying. Like I need, I'm a grandma. I have to be in bed by eight or yeah. I'm going to be a jerk the next day. I'm the same. <laughs> yeah. How old are you? I'm 25. Wow. Yeah. To have your shit together like that at 25. That's pretty remarkable. Oh, thank you. I mean, I did not have my shit together. It doesn't 25. feel like I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it looks like that. <laughs> as long as I can fake it. <laughs> so what do you do in your free time? Oh my gosh. I feel like I don't really, I would let, I love my job. So I just love to shoot content. I'm always collabing, doing photo shoots, um, always going out to dinner with friends. Like I just love chill vibes. So I like to go to dinner once a week, like Kenzie Ann is going to come over. We're going to do a live show and mm-hmm. go to dinner, things like that. I'm very boring outside of, porn. <laughs> but I like it that way. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't want to feel like I'm working all the time though. Like I want my work to be fun. Yeah. So do you have a hard time like creating that balance between work and your personal sure. life? That's my I feel yeah. like everybody does these days. I do. I've had friends who are like, hey, I miss you. Like, don't forget to make time for, you know, yourself and people that you actually love. So I'm learning to find that balance. Like if I need to take a day off on my calendar, that's one thing I struggled with my first year. I was like, I can't miss an opportunity. I need to be booked. Like I can't take one single day off. And now I'm like, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Like people will, if they really want to book you, they'll find another date. Like mm-hmm. you can take a day off for you like once a week or something. Yeah. Well, especially with what you do for a living, because I mean, having a lot is, is hard on your body. Oh yeah. It affects my, like I try to date while mm-hmm. I'm in the industry and it affects my personal relationships too. Yeah. Like my drive is just lower because I'm always 
overbooked sometimes. Mm -hmm. But so yeah, you have to learn to be able to take time off for yourself and the people in your life, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.